Hello! In today's video, we are going to explain you how to configure some of the Digital Yacht's AIS transponders with built-in web interface. So all our latest AIS transponders with Wi-Fi, such as Nomad 2, AIT5000, EISTX, have a built-in web interface where you can easily configure the AIS transponder with your iPhone, smartphone, tablet, PCs, or whatsoever. So you don't need to download any software, it's all done via a web interface. So how to do this? The first step is to connect yourself to the Wi-Fi network created by the unit. So you look at the local Wi-Fi network, now I can see the EIS-TX. So any digital yacht IS transponder with built-in Wi-Fi have a password. So the password is always different, but it's pass iPhone and then those last four units as you can see. So in that case, my the EISTX identifier is 125C. So the password is pass iPhone 125C. And all in capital. Right? So now pass 125C. I'm gonna wait for my laptop to connect itself to the Wi-Fi network created by the EISTX. If you connect yourself to the EISTX Wi-Fi network with your iPad, iPhone, Android, it will tell you that the, this Wi-Fi network doesn't give you any internet access, which is normal. Obviously, the Wi-Fi network created by our AIS transponder doesn't give you any, in, any, any internet connectivity. All it does, it's sending all your enemy data via the Wi-Fi. So now as you can see, I'm connected. Sorry if it's written in French, but it's connected to the Wi-Fi network of the EISTX. And it says here, pan internet, meaning no internet. So now all, all I need to do is to open a web page like Google Chrome, Safari, Mozilla, whatever. Even though you don't have internet in the URL search bar, you need to write the following IP address. So 192.168.1.1. One. So now, as you can see, even though I don't have internet, I've just accessed the EISTX web interface. So the web interface is the same for the Nomad 2 and the IIT 5000. So the first step is to go to settings. So as you can see, first is all about the network setting, which I'm not going to explain today, but it's to, let's say, merge the EISTX Wi-Fi to an existing Wi-Fi router, like a 4G router, or a Furino radar. But anyway, we need to scroll down and to go to this part about vCell details. So this part is very important and all the data you are going to input in these sections will be transmitted to the other boat. So the first step is to put your boat's name. So I'm gonna add, I'm go my boat is called Digital Your Test. Then the next part is the VHF call sign of your VHF radio. So you don't need to add it, but if you have one, you can call it. So let's say maybe be like DL70 or whatever. But then the most important part is now the MMSI number. So on the MMSI number, all you need, you need to enter the MMSI number given by your local authority. So for my boat test, the MMSI number is, here you go. And then the type of vessels. So whether you have a sailing boat, pilot, whatever, you got all the details here. So now I'm gonna click, I've got sail, sailboat. And then for the dimensions here, it is where your GPS antenna is located. So obviously to transmit your positions, you, the, I, the IIS must be connected to a GPS antenna. So you need to tell to the unit where the GPS antenna is located. So in our case, it's set on the push pit. So dimension A, I would say 10 meters. Dimension B, just one meter. C, should be three and four, sorry. Here, zero. Obviously, th those numbers doesn't need to be accurate. So once you are Please, with all the details, everything looks correct to you. Make sure you check one last time your MMSI number. Because once you have updated the boat details, 
you cannot change the MMSI number. So if you are pleased with everything, you click on update both details. So now it's going to take a few minutes for the unit to configure itself. So you must wait. And as you can see now, the MMSI number is blocked. I cannot change the number anymore. If I want to change this, I need to con you need to contact us to reset the unit. However, if you want to change VHF call sign or the boat's name, dimension of the GPS antenna or vessel type, that is absolutely fine. You can change all those details as much as you want. So now the unit has been configured. So what you need to do is you come back to the home page and you must go to status. So in the status area, you will be able to access all about the, e, the AIS transponder. So as I said to you, um, the unit, once you have configured all the MMSI number, bot's name, etc., it takes at least five minutes for the unit to, conf to configure itself. So after five minutes, you can wait and everything will turn into green or not. So the first point is to check whether you got a valid MMSI stick all done. Then the GPS reception, the GPS reception, it's green, meaning that the GPS antenna of the AIS is receiving locations. Then IS is transmitting and is green, so the unit is now transmitting all the details to the other bots, so like bots, um, name, MMSI number, X dimensions, speed, etc. IS antenna is about the VHF antenna, whether it's good or not. And position is whether you have received a position report via AIS. So now on the right side, it's all about the statistics. So the first one is TX, meaning the unit, the unit have already transmitted twice all the details to the surrounding bot. VSWR, it's um, a rate which allows to, to say whether your VHF antenna is good or not, or it's the cable, the VHF antenna, or the connectors. So in that case, I've got a 1.2 on one rate, which is a very good rate. If it's above five, the rate, then the IS antenna here will turn into red, and then it, must, it indicates that you must change your VHF antenna or the cable or its connectors. And finally, RX means the unit have already received 722 times some IS targets near us. And then here you got an access of the LADs. And what is, is quite nice as well for the web interface is you can also turn off the IS transmissions by just clicking these icons here. So by clicking this icon after a few seconds, the, the silent LED will turn on. And now it means that the unit is not transmitting anymore. I'm only receiving IS target, but I'm not transmitting. So I can access the LED here for the web interface. But if I look at the physical unit, the LED silent will, will be turned on. So now for this IS status, I can see that everything is correct with my IS transponder, like whether the GPS position. So it means that the GPS antenna has been well put, I receive all the satellite as I can see below. The voltage is correct. VSWR is almost perfect here. So everything is good and my IS transponder is perfectly working. So coming back to the home page, if you have any thing to do with NMEA, if you want to look at the NMEA data, you can click into view data and here you will get a stream of all the live NMEA data, AIS, GPS, etc. So thanks to this web interface, you can pretty much do everything you want with the IS transponder from its configuration to make sure that everything is working very well or going to the settings to change the local name of the Wi-Fi network or the password. Also clicking on stations mode to join the Wi-Fi network to an existing Wi-Fi mode. So anyways, a lot you can do and you will get more information on our website, digitalyacht.co.uk. Thanks for listening and have a great day.